Hello and welcome or welcome back on my channel. My name is Dora if you're new here and I'm super happy to see you and I'm happy to see you back. I know it's uh, it's been a long, long, long time. It's winter in Canada so please forgive me. So today we're not going flying uh, yet and it's gonna come back soon but uh, the other day I was sharing um, a little bit of my notes on Instagram. If you don't follow me, you can follow me down there. I'm gonna put that there. And how I take my notes for um, my ATPL. So if you don't know me, I'm a commercial pilot, um, and TIFR, everything. And in the meantime, I'm getting a job in the airline or anything else. I am working on my ATPL, so like that it's uh, down and out of the way. And I take my notes on my iPad. And um, yeah, so I get questions like on the software I'm using, on what I'm using to take my notes, how do I take my notes. I do like a little bit of aesthetic in my notes. Uh, you don't have to do that, that's just personal. Uh, it's my motivation to take notes and studies. I like um, to have it as a relaxing moment in the same time, if that makes sense. So I like to have um, nice notes, but you don't have to push that far, okay? So today we're gonna see like, um, Everything about the software I'm using, um, the iPad I'm using, and everything like that. So if it's something that you are interested in, just keep watching. And if you're not a subscriber, you can hit that uh, subscribe button down there, the little like, that helps a lot. And we will be back at flying really soon, I promise. All right, so let's get started first. Coffee. Mm. All right, so. The iPad I'm using is the iPad Pro. You don't need to go that big. Um, I do have it, I have an iPad Pro because I'm using it for work. As you know, I have a website uh, that sells aviation stuff. I should wear a shirt right now, but I don't, whatever. It's fine, and I also um, do photography on the side. So photography for aviation and photography for anything else, mainly backshot and uh, so product photography basically so that's why I have iPad Pro but any iPad at work um, with the pencil should be uh, should be all right for you so the software I'm using is uh, GoodNotes so it's uh, not that you need to buy in the Apple Store so it's not free unfortunately and what I like about um, that app is you can have like I have here on the side yes baby um, folders with everything and uh, so I have like everything that's for my CFI, um, so CFI, I mean, in Canada, flight instructor in the US CFI. And uh, here is all my notebooks for uh, my study. So I have my IATRA, the AAM that I'm reading a lot. So for the notebooks, you have uh, options so you can create a new notebook. So let me do that for you here. Click on new notebook. So in here you can uh, basically create a new notebook. You have the choice of plenty of different papers. As you saw on my Instagram, I like black papers. It's a bit easier on my eyes, but you don't have to. You can go with white or anything that you pick. So there is basically three main technique of studying. So you have Cornell. That's the technique I'm using. Box method. And you have the chat methods. So you have a section on the left where you put the title or keywords or anything like that and your notes on the right. So that allows you to, for example, hide with a piece of paper, like a side, you don't see my hand, but <laughs> a side, like the right side and then you can question yourself. So that's the technique I'm using the most. I really like that. So you have the box method. So that's what I have here. So you have boxes um, and you have notes in there. It's good for airspace, for example, I like to do that. Uh, here for uh, all the mat and everything, I like to have in separate box. And you have the chart method. So that would be, um, for example, uh, a chart like you have for uh, you have a VFR minimas or something like that. So that's the main three um, technique you use to uh, study. And the, the notebook I have in here, so that's a notebook that I have on my Etsy store, you can buy it, you can buy it for um, the PPL Ground School in Canada, so all the tabs are already made for you, or an empty tabs and you can just make them yourself. Um, I'm just gonna go really quick over that notebook, you don't need to buy it, like you can just go with um, a simple, um, simple notebook 
in um, GoodNotes, you're just not gonna have the tabs or anything working, so that you that you can't create that in GoodNotes. Uh, but basically, I like it because I have like all the tabs here with the name, and um, for example, up you have all the tabs here, and when you click on them, just takes you in the chapter, and you have the little tab changing color to let you know where you are. So. That's one of the things that's good with this one. And I added, um, like for your flight planning, for example, here you have uh, the crosswind, weather, everything to get ready on your flight, uh, Canadian um, flight plan. So I'm sorry, I'm Canadian, so everything's gonna be Canadian, but you can switch to like the, um, for uh, the American or wherever you are. Uh, that works too. I'm using this uh, for my notes now because I like to be organized but once again you can just use um, the good notes uh, notebook. Like that's a little bit of an overview of my notes. The way I work, let's grab a new page. So when you're in uh, the notebook I made that you can get on Etsy, um, when you want to add a page in between you just go up there, add page and current template. So that's going to add you an empty page with the same tab so you're still in the same menu there up i'm gonna just pick a random like chapter so here i have um temperature as a like chapter so the slide so what i like to do is so i'm gonna go in the little thing up there to be able to edit i'm gonna add text tab there and up so good notes is really good because it can read you and it can even read me so below me that's a really good one and then up I'm just gonna change the font the color so sometimes it doesn't give me my colors there um, so I have them in a preset so I'm gonna show you how to do that later and then up when you're done you can just click on this one that little lesser tool there and then you can uh, resize everything so let's have this centered and let's change the color to match too much um, the notebook colors and what I like to do and I, I think that's what you liked on Instagram as well is I'm just gonna add text up I'm gonna write that again and I'm gonna take up, change the font to something like this. Uh, oops, not that big. Okay, and then the same. I'm gonna use the lasso tool. I think it's easier. Up, switch them, and then call it. So that's what I like to do for um, my title. So you're gonna go like a little chapter by chapter up. I'm gonna use the like zoom in there and we're gonna go with convection. So, so the same, you can all write by hand or take the, t uh, the text and type it there. Like it's extremely flexible. And you need to insert, so imagine you need to insert a graph in your notes, you just go there. Save image. Well, I didn't take the previous one, but... So, you just insert the graph in here and you can like resize it, do everything you want. And add it in your notes. And the good thing about that, so you imagine you insert um, your graph and then you want to take notes. So you can write above it and take your notes and if you keep your pen on the ipad when you do that it makes a pretty line for you okay and if for example you wanted to uh, draw your um, graph instead of having um, a copy and paste to make it a little bit prettier if you want to go fancy we're gonna start by the background color so i'm mm, gonna draw that cloud in blue that sounds right up Awesome, and then we're gonna do the little lines. So we're gonna change the colors. And up, oops. 
So when you double tap your pen, God, I should probably stop drinking coffee, it goes back to the razor or whatever you had um, before. So the same, like I keep my pen up on the iPad. So as you can see, I have a pretty shaky hand. Uh, the grass, we're gonna go there, lighter green, and so um, this is going to go under your lines, you will see in one minute. Yep. So it's always good, and we're gonna put this guy in a lighter color here. So, uh, I'm going really quick for you guys. I usually spend a little bit more time. Or I um, do it in Procreate, but Procreate you have to pay for it, so you don't need to go. And then we are going to delay this. And uh, you can lasso everything. Oopsie, not everything. Uh, perfect. And you can resize it, make it smaller and have your notes. So that's basically how I take my notes. So you have the two options. You can insert the graph, you can draw it over it if you like it, you can change the colors, everything is extremely flexible. So that's basically how I take my notes on uh, my iPad. So I'm gonna show you my actual like notes when I spend time. Uh, I like to have colors, I like to draw the stuff myself. I have, um, I don't know how you call that, but my memory works when I draw and I write the thing down. So that's the way I do it. Um, so my a part of my ATPL is in my old notebook, so with um, black notes. So that's how it looks like, and I improved it a little bit better uh, with the new one with the Cornell method. I think it's a little bit clearer. So I'll see if I change everything or not. I think not. I don't have time for that. But um, yeah, and like you can see, you can insert a lot of graph, draw over it, take your notes, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. So that's about it for today. Uh, if you want me to show you how I uh, design my titles in Procreate, uh, let me know. But I didn't want to go too far in, in details with that because Procreate uh, is a paying app. And if you don't design, draw, anything like that, it's not worth it, the price. So I wanted to show you how you could do that in good notes. And um, yeah, oh, I forgot. So. Uh, with these notebooks, I was talking about uh, stickers a little bit earlier. Um, so those stickers are included. So if you wanted to add stickers, um, you can. Um, when I sell the thing, you're gonna have a file with all the sti uh, stickers in PNG, and you can um, in GoodNotes um, add a new collection, a title. Um, for example, you call it whatever you want, and add photo. So when you receive the package, just send all the pictures on your iPad, and they are PNG, so they are like transparent background, and you can add, um, select all the stickers. So all the stickers there are included, so from here to there. So everything is included, you select them, add, and then you're gonna have them um, in your sticker pad. So here, for example, and you just need to click add and you can resize them right in them so you have all the stickers that goes with so that's how I got the notes um, like those guys here and you can resize them, change um, the shape and everything so you got it so I hope you liked the video, that's it for today and if you have any questions just let me know don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye